Okay, for this last video, we're going to go through and verify that the two solutions that we found in the third video are solutions of the system of the differential equations. And the systems are a little different than regular simple differential equations. We have to make sure that the two solutions we found make both equations true at the same time. And we can also verify the initial conditions as well. So let's first check out x. If we calculate x of 0, that is negative 1 third e to the 0 plus 1 third e to the 0, that does make 0, so that one checks. If we check out y of 0, that's going to be 1 third e to the 0 plus 2 thirds e to the 0. And that is 1 thirds plus 2 thirds does make 3 thirds equals 1. So that checks out as well. So that's not a verification that we actually got the problem right, but it's really, really good evidence that we're on the right track. So now let's verify the differential equations. For x prime, we're going to start with the right-hand side, which is more complicated, and substitute in our solutions. So we have a negative times the x, which is negative 1 third e to negative 2t plus 1 third e to the t. And that's plus the y, which we know is 1 third e to negative 2t plus 2 thirds e to the t. And if we now distribute and combine like terms, we're going to have a positive e, 1 third e to negative 2t plus the one-third e to the negative 2t. Now if we gather up the e to the t's, we're going to have a minus one-third e to the t plus two-thirds e to the t. And that will make a total of two-thirds e to the negative 2t plus a one-third e to the t. And if we now look back at our x solution back here, and take that derivative, you will notice by the chain rule that we do have, in fact, 2 thirds e to the negative 2t plus a 1 third e to the t. So this is, in fact, equal to x prime. So negative x plus y does equal x prime. Now let's do the same thing for y. For the y equation, that's just equal to negative 2x. So if we take negative 2 and multiply it by the x, which is still negative 1 third e to negative 2t plus 1 third e to the t, and distribute, we're going to end up with a positive 2 thirds e to negative 2t, and that's going to be minus 2 thirds e to the t. And if we now take a look at the y prime, actually, that should be, let's see here. Da, 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 da. That's, uh, da, da, da. Hmm. No, that actually looks pretty good. So let's see here, negative 2x. And so let's go through, and if we take our now y prime, I guess we'll use green, we're getting a lot of colors here. Use the y prime and take that derivative. That is a negative 2 thirds. You know, I don't think that negative belongs in that equation. This is throwing it off. So let's look back at the original problem real quick. And yeah, there's no negative on that. That's our mistake. So this is what happens when you actually go through and verify. You can easily find your mistake by just going back to the original problem or your solution and noticing that, yeah, there's no negative there. So now let's go back down here and erase those negatives off and rewrite our solution. So the first one is going to actually have a negative on it, and the second one will have a plus on it. And now if we look at our y and take the derivative, that is going to be a negative 2 thirds e to negative 2t, and then plus the 2 thirds e to the t, and yes, that is y prime. So we have... 2 times x equaling y prime. So we've shown now that both solutions, x of t and y of t, satisfy the system of differential equations. So again, just be very careful because you'll notice that one negative sign can throw everything off.